Welcome back. In this video, we are going to talk about another one of the important programming challenge of hacker rank. And name of that programming challenge is In this programming challenge, we'll give a, get an array of integers. We have to sort the array in ascending order by using bubble sort algorithm. Okay. Let's understand this complete challenge with the help of an example. Let's say we will get an input uh, for the first line contains an integer contains an integer which indicates the size of the array. Let's say the size of the array is three. And the second line will be the list of variables list of variables. I will write as three, two and one. Now, this will be our input. And our output will be we have to record the number while sorting this list of variables while sorting this list of variables we have to record the number of swaps and also we have to find write down the first value and the last value. Let's understand this while going through this example. So our initial value is 3, 2, 1. Okay. So we have to compare between 3 to 2. So is 3 greater than 2? Yes, is 3, 3 is greater than 2. So, in that case, swap the values 2, 3, 1. How many swaps happen? Only 1. Again, now let's compare from another values 3 to 1. Is 3 greater than 1? Yes, 3 is greater than 1. If 3 is greater than 1, then again swap those values. Then new value will be 2, 1, 3. This is swap number 2. Now, this is 3, 1 is the last value. So, again, we will start from the beginning. So, 2 is greater than 1. Answer is yes. Then again, swap those values. 1, 2, 3. Now, I can see that 1 is greater than 1 is greater than 2. No, 2 is greater than 3. No. So, this will be that means our value is sorted and number of swaps is 3. Okay, and the first value is 1 and the last value is 3. So, our output will be written like this. This will be our output format. Okay, now let's see the constraints. Constraints will be So, the size of the array will, will be between 2 to 600 and the list of the variables will be between 1 to 2 to the power 10, 2 into 10 to the power 6. Okay. Now, let us revise this example one, one more time. We got a list of uh, variables 3, 2, 1. What is our job? We Our job is to sort this value with by using bubble sort algorithm. So, what is bubble sort? Bubble sort is nothing just swapping adjacent element if they are in decreasing order. Right. So, I com started comparing adjacent elements. So, first of all, I compared between 3 to 2, 3 greater than 2, okay, yes, then swap those values, 2, 3, so the new 2, 3, 1 is the new value. So, these values get swapped. Now, I said adjacent values have to, you have to compare. Now, the next adjacent value will be 3, 1. So, again, 3 is greater than 1, condition is true. So, again, we swapped. The new values will be 2, 1, 3. After that, again, 2, 1, 3, okay, so it and it is 3 is the last position after that there is no value so that's why we again we started from the beginning and again we checked if 2 is greater than 1 condition is true if 2 is yes in that case again we swap the value between 2 to 1 so it became 1 2 3 now we can see that all the values are in descending order and we also recorded the number of swaps number of swaps is 3 and through that we wrote our output in the following format okay and and this is our constraints of this problem. So, what are the things we covered here? We understood the problem with the help of examples. We also saw the constraint of this problem. Now, what we are going to do? We are going to solve this programming challenge with the help of a Java language. So, let us start. So, first of all, we are going to read all the values of list. For that, what we are going to do? We are going to use int stream.
here I can see that all the values are read properly 3 to 1. Now the next thing that we are going to do is inside this int stream we will take one more int stream dot size minus 1. The reason we did a dot size minus 1 because when we are comparing adjacent values and it will reach the end point it should not throw array index out of point array index out of bound ex exception so one value is less than the uh, end point so that it will it can easily compare and without throwing an error now next after reading this one wh what kind of a values we wanted to swap we wanted to swap the adjacent values which are in descending order format and descending order adjacent values format so for that what i'm going to do i'm going to write filter okay it will show is the values it will filter out only those values which are in decreasing order after that swap those values for that i'm going to use peak After swapping every time, what am I going to do? I am going to record those count. Before writing the further code, let's verify this record count is showing proper data or not. count first time count 2 count 1 count 0 now if we we'll add those count it will be count 3 which is the exact number of swaps happened if we saw in the painted data to sort this value so that means our logic up to now is correct so now what we have to do now i have to sum this count value for that what am i going to do i'm just going to remove for each and here i'm going to write map here I am going to return this count done and here I am going to use sum method. Long total swap. Before writing the exact statement, uh, let's print total number of swaps, it is correct or not. Total number of swaps, 3. So, it is showing the correct data. Now. So, let's write the required output now. Since the data count starts from the 0, so it should be size minus 1. And the first value we require for that we have to write a dot get indexing 0. Done. Let us execute this code again. array is sorted in three swap the first element after sorted it will be one and the last element is three so i think our code that we have written here the logic is completely correct so what we are going to do we are going to copy this code paste into hacker rank console now let's run the code Okay, sample test case has got successful. Now let's submit the code. So the logic that we have written here is completely correct. I will upload the code in the GitHub and GitHub link I will provide in the description section. With that, this is the end of the video and again in the next video we are going to 
talk about another one of the important programming challenge of hacker rank so stay tuned and keep watching i then channel thank you